you want to become a better player. These are five soccer training drills I want you to add to your current routine. The next thing that I would suggest you add is some form of agility training. So you don't even need a ladder. You can do things like this, working on a line. Okay, but actually forcing your feet to go faster than they're used to. So I like using the ladder. I'll just do different uh, exercises. I'd usually go through it really quick. Maybe it only take me like three minutes, but doing this daily makes me a lot sharper. So singles, doubles, focus on the arm movement just as much as the feet. Sideways to uh, slalom. Okay, and when you get tired, it's so easy just to give up and go slower. That's when you need to push the most. These are gonna be struggle in the beginning. They're gonna make your feet feel really heavy. You're gonna feel out of shape. This is good uh, fitness, good stamina as well. Another one I might do, forward back. Okay, but adding some form of agility training to your soccer training, it's gonna make you a better athlete. So I might just do like six sprints, five, six sprints, but I'm not just sprinting to get myself tired. I'm sprinting thinking about how can I get faster? So I'm thinking about the technique of sprinting, focus on accelerations, but here you can do different types of starts. So maybe starting from quick feet and go. So jumping, landing, push off from the ground, but Focus on the technique of sprinting. So acceleration, wanna stay lower. First couple steps, I'm staying low. Pushing, staying low. Over time, let's say after those 30 yards, then I'm finally coming up. Most kids start down here. First step, boom, they're already up straight. Okay, so try to keep that forward, forward lean. Once you've done the hard stuff, the stuff you don't necessarily want to do. Do that stuff at the beginning of your session. When you're sharp, when your energy's high, do that stuff. Don't wait till the end when you're tired because then you're gonna leave early, you're gonna cheat yourself. Do that hard stuff, get it out of the way, become a better athlete, then get on the ball. Do the stuff that you wanna do, the stuff that you love to do. So one thing I want you to add is maybe you're working a little bit of ball control, but I always talk about it. Add that directional ball control, that materialistic ball control. Moving with the ball, running with the ball. After that, you're gonna add shooting. And you're not gonna do standstill dead balls the whole time. You're gonna do realistic shooting. Yes, you have to practice free kicks, of course. You have to have that ability, but I want you practicing shooting off the turn. Shooting after a little bit of skill. Shooting with both feet. And practicing different types of shooting. Are you only capable of striking the ball with your laces on your strong foot or can you curl the ball inside and outside of the foot? Do you have the ability to strike shots with both feet, to hit the net consistently? What about half volleys? Full volleys. But from now on, Every time you go to the field by yourself, I want you to practice shooting. Different techniques, regardless of your position, 100 shots a day, minimum. The more reps you get, I guarantee you, you're gonna feel like a different player if you practice shooting every single day. Work on the ball striking. You're gonna become deadly attacker, deadly in front of goal. Even if you're a center back, having that ability, knowing that anytime you're around the net, you can get a shot off and you can score a goal for your team is gonna give you a new sense of confidence. So add these soccer training drills to your current training routine.